Megan here back with another video. Okay, so today I am going to do like a small book haul. And I'm going to say that it's small because if you watch any of my other book hauls, they typically contain 15 or more books. And I think I only got seven. So I'm going to show you what I got. It is an order from Book Outlet. Oop. And um, I also want to talk about the fact that I'm not going to buy any more books that have already came out. So what I plan on doing is I'm only going to buy books that are a part of a series that I own, own in new releases. That's it. So... If a book has already came out, somebody likes it, I can put it on my wants, my wish list, and buy it next year. I can't buy any more, like, books till next year. Not, like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys get it or not, but my thing is I don't want to buy anything that people are already talking about. I want to buy nothing but new releases and continuing my series that I already own. So, anyway, oh, and collecting classics. That's another thing. So, those are my three exceptions. New release in the series, or if it's a classic. So, my hauls might be a little bit more far and few in between, and they may not be as large because of my three stipulations to buying books but anyway so let's get into the books because i did enough talking so i got to finish my um anna and a french kiss series i know they're all like separate stories with the characters kind of intertwining each book i got lola and the boy next door by stephanie perkins since everybody talks about this I had to pick it up like everybody says like this is one of their favorite childhood books so and I've never read it I I didn't hear about it when I was a kid so um I got Anne of the Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery this edition is really really pretty it is a puffin books edition if I can collect the whole series in this edition I will be so happy but I don't know if that's going to be something that's possible. So, we'll see. And then another Puffins book I got was A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. And then I got Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. So now all I need is Winter and Ferris. I don't know if Ferris is really something that I really need. If you've read the series, tell me if Ferris is something I really need. <laughs> then I got All American Boys by Jason Rutner and Brandon Keeley. It's a novel. I heard good things about it. Then because I've been trying to start this series and I just for whatever reason would not buy the book. I'm glad I did not buy the book because it was on Book Outlet. I got A Court of Throne and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Now, this is a signed copy. I didn't pay for this. I thought it was just a regular. I had to look at my receipt and it said it was a regular, but it is signed by Sarah J Moss so I'm super like happy about it super happy um and then the last book that I got is the continuous series it is the winner's crime so this is the second book in the winner's curse series all I need is the third book and I'm done with this trilogy this is not really a series it's a trilogy but yeah guys, so that's it for the books. Relatively short, right? 
because I'm always buying books, but I'm slowing down. Booktube sucks you in. It makes you want to buy all the books in the world. If I could just sit and read all day, I would do it. But unfortunately, I have to be an adult. Nah. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of my picks. Um, yeah. Let me know what other classics maybe I should pick up first. And if you like this video, if you like the idea of going on a book buying minimum, because <laughs> it's not a book buying band, not a book buying band, but going on a book buying minimum where you set certain stipulations, let me know what you think of that. And if you want to see more of me, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.